everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and welcome back to a little bit of a different video today because I have been playing Minecraft non-stop for like the last month just like everyone else basically. I got really into Minecraft again. I've been playing on this survival realm with a few of my friends and my boyfriend and I posted a couple of pictures on Twitter and a few of you guys said you would like to see a tour of the server or of our world. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just doing a little one-off video. I know we usually post Sims and I have Realm of Magic content coming up for you guys next week. But today we're taking a little look-see around our server. We've got so much stuff here and it's all built purely in survival. No cheats whatsoever. There is four of us on this server. I'm the only girl so if you see anything cute anywhere I probably built it. But it's been a lot of fun. We've kind of completed everything by now so I'm pretty much done with this server I don't know what we're doing next maybe we will be doing mods or something but dang my house is really dark with shaders on I've been kind of using shaders every now and again and then mostly playing without shaders but they look so so pretty wanted to turn them on for this video so this is my house welcome I definitely want to show it to you guys from outside so this is my house. I am not a very good Minecraft builder, so I was actually following a tutorial that I found on YouTube by A1 Most Addicted Minecraft. I can link their channel down below. This is basically an exact copy. I changed a few things, like the entrance is there where you go in, and then I did the interior myself. The tutorial was only for the outside of the house, but it's a pretty epic house for survival. Like, I think it looks really really awesome i was really excited to build this it took me days to build this and i had to gather so many materials mainly wood though because as you can see it's <laughs> mainly a lot of wood and then you've got these red um what are these called are they called redstone lamps i forgot what they're called but you've got them all around here i've got little farms here so there's my sugar cane farm i've got carrots and potatoes down here then i've got some cocoa beans randomly there and then my wheat farms this is kind of symmetrical build with some little lily pads around as well. I love this. I am, I have been playing Minecraft a lot in the past. Like I'm not new to Minecraft at all. I am pretty much a Minecraft veteran, <laughs> but I just, I hadn't played in a very, very long time. So it was fun to get back into Minecraft. So yeah, this is my house. I will take you guys back inside. I have so many pets, by the way. Here's a dog that doesn't have a name currently. As you can see, I have a lot of experience. <laughs> I have 63 levels. Ah, uh, yeah, we are in end game right now. And my friends went kind of crazy with different farms and stuff. We have an XP farm. So if you guys have name suggestions, let me know. This is my enchanting room. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff in there. As you can see, you have 25 diamonds in there. Bunch of good books in here. Level one books in here and this one. Oh, we've got some pretty good books in there too. And yeah, we've done all the bosses. Here is our Ocean Explorer map, which looks really lame, I know. But we did the Z Temple and then this is the Woodland Explorer map. So I actually didn't fill this in because I'm a noob, I should have done that. But it was so far away, I'm not going back there. <laughs> but there's the Woodland Mansion, which we raided. Um, there was four of us, that was pretty simple. Here's for my little fox. Do you want some food? This is Scout. Um, I brought him back. He's so cute. I kind of want to get a white fox still, but he's adorable. Then I've got, I actually got, I tamed all the cats. So there's an achievement to tame all of the cats in Minecraft. A complete catalog, 11 out of 11. Tame all cat Brian. So I have got all 11. And a few extras because they made babies, but here's Taffy and Yasmin or Jasmine. I've named a few of them after Disney princesses. I know this one's spelled differently. And then I have two parrots. I've got Mango and Saffron who I brought back. I walked 5,000 blocks with two cats following me. And while I was leading two parrots, it was a literal nightmare. I actually like, I couldn't even run because the parrots are so slow. I had to walk 5,000 blocks. So. That was the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> and then here is my chest room with another bed. Here's my cat Salem and one of my shulker boxes that has a bunch of buckets because we were filling the pond with tropical fish. I've got my ender chest, which just has random stuff in there. Uh, all of my chests, I don't really know. There's nothing 
really that cool in here yeah we have an enderman farm a slime farm we've got everything i've used all my emeralds <laughs> because i made my own village and then up here i have a little water elevator it's my it's just a little potion area with two brewing stands some cauldrons which i don't need because i've got water right there and then i've got potion ingredients i think water bottles and a bunch of potions in here so that is my house uh yeah we've been playing for about a month and all in survival so this is pretty much what i've achieved oh and here is peach who i almost forgot to show you guys my house is pretty loud because <laughs> i have so many pets everywhere um i don't really know where to go next so i'm just gonna show you guys around i do have my elytra on so my angel wings with mending and i'm breaking i've got the best stuff which is why i don't know what to do anymore because we've legit done everything so i've got my elite stuff i named it elite because it literally has the best enchantments you can get so my helmet my leggings my boots which are so good i love death strider and then i've got my chest plate as well which i'm not wearing because i'm wearing my elytra which looks really weird but I am. Uh, my shield is not the prettiest. I failed my shield if you want to see it. Um, it's supposed to be- oh, I'm eating. It's supposed to be a heart with wings, but somehow I messed it up. It doesn't have wings, but it is enchanted. It goes with my armor and it's pink, so I do uh, like that, but it doesn't have mending on it. We did get a mending villager, so that's, that's why everything has mending on it. Got my elite sword with seven enchantments, like hello, what the heck? I did not know you could have seven. It's totally OP. I got my pickaxe, they all have mending, my shovel, my axe, and my bow, which I chose to get infinity over mending because infinity is just the best thing ever. Also got a steel touch pickaxe here, my ender chest with me, and two shulker boxes, and yeah, that is my inventory. So yeah, oh, let me take the shield off. It just blocks so much of the view. So there's a bunch of stuff around that I will show you guys, but let's go to the stables first. I also need to sleep. Oh my God, I've been talking forever. There's a little ice path here because one of the houses of one of my friends is all the way over there. Uh, this looks really ugly. <laughs> I was supposed to make this better. This has been here for like two weeks. My bad, I put this ice here. It's so pretty and you're supposed to use a boat as well, but we'd be kind of lazy. So I built a little stables. This is not a copy of anything. This is just what I started building and it ended up looking like this. It's nothing too fancy, but I wanted to have an area for my horses. Uh, maybe if someone else wanted to put their horse in here, they haven't, but they could have, as you can see, there are some stables, some stalls for rent. So here's my first horse, Dash. He is pretty fast. I don't think he's the fastest you can get, but he's he's a good horse. He's a good boy. Um, that's the first one. Then over here, I've got Indigo with my first horse. Love her. And then Indigo's baby Willow here. So this is a, her baby boy. And then, oh, we've got a stable <laughs> doggy as well who doesn't have a name. And then I managed to get a mule. Uh, called Lucky. No, not a mule. A donkey called Lucky. And then I bred Lucky and Indigo and they made a mule baby who doesn't have a name. I have no idea what to call him. So if you guys have any suggestions for a baby whose dad is called Lucky and mom is called Indigo, let me know. And then, oh no, that's so sad. Okay, so I've got one uh, alpaca here called Poppy. It's uh, which one is it? It's this one. This is Poppy. And then I have another one who doesn't have a name. And I get oh, they made a baby, but I left the server when the baby was still a baby. It must have aged up while my friends were on, and no one tamed it, so it has despawned. That's really sad. <laughs> I'm gonna need to make another baby for them, but yeah, that's Poppy and Poppy's husband, I guess, her nameless husband, and here is Silas, my skeleton horse, who I've actually had since like day one of the server, which is crazy. But yeah, that is my stables and my horses, if you guys wanted to see. There's a village there that is like a naturally spawned village. My friends raided it and killed all the villagers because they were noobs and they did not know. That's not something you should do. So unfortunately, we had to make our own village. Why is my dolphin trying to escape? Okay. There we go. So yeah, this server looks really, really pretty at night with my shaders on, but I'm gonna go for a little sleep and then I'll show you guys around a little bit more. 
just look over here this is where my village is it looks so pretty i love these shaders these are the sliders slider shaders what are they called no silders <laughs> Silders, vibrant shaders, and I downloaded the medium one. I didn't want to go all crazy with the extreme one, so I've been really, really happy with these shaders. But yeah, let me sleep. All right, it is the next morning, so we can continue our tour. Let's go to the, let's go check out the village because I'm pretty proud of this village. We actually uh, we caught two zombie villagers. We cured them, and they then started making babies and. <laughs> I have a full village now who I have been trading with so much trying to get mending and I finally got it I've got so many good enchantments here. I've got some cats here. So this is Jasper. I don't think I named this cat. I think one of my friends named this cat. <laughs> Okay, that's Jasper and then oh my god, what are you doing down there? Belle. So this is another cat named after a Disney princess. Will you come up? Who, like I feel like a creeper must have blown up there is <laughs> not good but yeah bell has the yellow color obviously so yeah there is bell i need to fill in that hole but yeah this is my little village that i built along with one of my friends uh yeah don't let the villagers out <laughs> um they had one iron column and then at some point i don't know what happened but i locked back on and there actually was 15 iron golems in this little area plus like five outside the area i don't know what happened why they were so freaked out but they actually spawned us like 20 iron golems which yeah you could not even like move around here okay why can't i do this jump so i don't have fence gates because i wasn't sure if they can open fences so I've just had this like jump system to get in and out of here, but I built them all these little houses. This little one with two floors, a little creepy sounds I don't like. I think there's a like a cave underneath here somewhere, so they need a bunch of beds. That's one house. Here's their blue house. They're all librarians because I was, you know, trying to get good trades. Um, and there's this house. This house, I lock them in because we have an infinity respiration, sharpness five and efficiency five um, villagers in here, which are really, really good. My friend built this house and I've got a protection for villager in there. And then we have one more house here, which is the first one I built. It's really cute. I like it a lot. And then there's just a bunch of crap here. Just ignore, ignore this and uh, my sugar cane farm behind here because I needed to make a lot of paper. <laughs> to trade with these villagers so yeah i've never done a village before in minecraft like build my own village and cured zombie villagers to start it up so that was really really cool i'm so happy with how it turned out all right i think we're gonna go to the house of one of my friends who lives a bit further away if i can set off yes i can so this is the village that I was talking about, which was completely raided and is empty now. Feels a bad man. But if you go through here, let me just not bump into anything. This is where one of my friends lives. He has a really, really huge house. It's pretty grand. Um, this was a friend who never played Minecraft before we started the server and then got super into it and watched like a million Minecraft videos. And now he's pretty good at it. So this is his huge house um built pretty much entirely out of logs uh it's been redesigned like twice already so <laughs> there's his horses and this is my little starter house this is where i first started like the first night in minecraft i built this tiny little house before i started building my huge one i have a skylight yeah it's, it's really ugly but this is this is where i started my journey with my little sunflowers and my little wheat farm so yeah, that's where I started, but this is where one of my friends still lives. I guess we can go take a look inside his house. I think he's got a couple of crazy redstone thingies going on in here. It's quite dark in here with shaders, but here's his living room. I think he asked me to decorate this and I totally forgot. Hi, dude. Don't come in. What are you selling? Nothing good. Okay, get out. So. This is his entrance, the, his social group boxes. This is cool. Oh, I haven't seen it fully decorated. Okay, this is actually pretty epic. This is a fully automated sorting system. Like everything in these chests, if there's anything in there, yes, there is, gets automatically sorted in there. I don't know how he did this. They watched so many videos and copied so many different farms from videos and built them in our world in survival, which I think is pretty sick because I'm not into redstone at all. And they've all gone crazy with it. So this is very impressive. <laughs> you know what I mean by grand? His place is so 
grand. Like he has a freaking chandeliers. Are you joking? So yeah. But yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool. He's got this huge enchanting area over here, which again got these grand staircases. He has like three floors, I swear. Okay, it's so dark in here. My apologies. Ooh, nice view of his chest, or the, I think he calls this his kitchen, kitchen area. And then going upstairs. I don't think this is fully decorated, but here is his bedroom. Oh, I've got a nice deck over here. Oh. And a staircase to go down. Okay. So I think this is supposed to be a farm. I think he needs a couple of villagers in there to uh, work for him. So it's not completed. But yeah, you can see this is uh, a farm area. I can hear a rail cart going. I don't know how it works. Don't ask me. He made a little pond. That's cute. Oh, I see a puffer fish. And then over here is his chicken farm, which actually has a lag the server. <laughs> Entire server started lagging because he legit had like a thousand chickens in here. I don't think it's on right now, which is really good because it was it was dangerous. What is in here? I have absolutely no idea. But yeah, this is his area. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for a Minecraft noob if you ask me. <laughs> nah, he's not a noob anymore. So then you might have seen this little area over here. This is uh their like subway system. So this is built out of like granite and whatever. I don't even know. But pretty cool a subway. So we can go in here and we can take a little rail car down to a skeleton spawner. Let's see, let's let's do it. So push it off and let's go. This is pretty loud, so it also takes like 30 seconds. I'll see you guys when I get there. Oh, here we are. Again, this is built purely in survival and it's like pretty cool automatic system. The cart breaks from the cactus falls in there. Uh, this is the skeleton spawner. Uh, there's like, they found a skeleton spawner. You just stand there AFK and a bunch of skeletons fall down. Uh, I think this goes to one of my friend's old house, which he doesn't use anymore. I made them a little <laughs> underground bunker so they can sleep in here. So, cause you know, everyone needs to sleep at the same time. Then over here is an old slime farm. This looks crazy with shaders. We don't use this anymore. But this, I didn't build this. One of my friends said um, it takes, took probably forever to build this thing with an iron golem there in the middle. I believe I might be able to take a rail car back to, towards my area. So let me see. Oh yeah, here. <laughs> it is not working properly. I had to run like 20 blocks to get here. But I believe if I go this way, I will end up at a closer skeleton spawner. So let me go this way. Oh, we're here, we're here. Oh, okay. So this is another skeleton spawner area. This is actually underneath my boyfriend's house. And this is where I made our nether portal. We actually moved it here. What is here? Oh yeah, here. Okay, this is where the skeletons, I believe, will drop down. Let me just wait a minute so I can demonstrate. Okay, here we go. Some skeletons are falling down here. If you go AFK here, you can get loads of experience, but we have way better ways to do that now. Basically, or there, all their drops will go in there. Let me just smack a few of them dead. There we go, got some XP. And they went into the hopper into here. So that's the skeleton spawner. Let's take a minecart back up to my boyfriend's house, which is right next to mine. Here we are in the bottom floor of my boyfriend's house. I'm gonna sleep because it is a night time. I'm gonna just loan his bed. All right, good morning. Let me show you guys his house from the outside. Why is there a turtle in a boat? I don't know. This house is nothing big. He didn't want anything too grand. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> I actually helped building this with one of our other friends. My boyfriend is not really into building anything super fancy looking in Minecraft, but I thought it turned out kind of cute. And it's like over the water with a little pier there. I think it's adorable. He has a bamboo farm there, a sugarcane farm back there. Uh, his cat is this one, a dog, and I left two of my cats here. I don't know what it is, but my cats just love to jump up here and I can't get them down. Here's a cat on a lily pad called Lily, of course. And yeah, his house is kind of uh, a metro station to go downstairs, but upstairs he has his chest area and his little dock to look over all of our all of our stuff and then up here is his enchantment area pretty cute if you ask me 
So yeah, we can talk about this lake now because this used to be, you know, just one of those regular Minecraft lakes. Like it was dirt and sand and gravel and it was just not very cute, but it was kind of like the center of our area. And I built my house right there, uh, like right next to this lake. So uh, from the beginning, I wanted to transform this lake into like a tropical lake and it took us forever but it is done now thank you to my friend for helping me out a lot i don't even know how many inventories full of sand have gone into filling this area up but let me go swim up there kind of show you guys from a bigger angle this is one of my friend's house it is not finished what the heck is that flag is that the England flag? Oh my god. So yeah, he's building a huge tree house. It's still not finished. He's been too busy helping the rest of us out with our projects, but it's a pretty nice viewpoint over the lake. You climb up here with the vines. He has just finished, I think, a couple of these rooms. They're pretty cool, if you ask me. It's a very nice big tree house. So yeah, I thought this was cool. It looked like a little canopy bed almost. I left another one of my cats here. This is Elsa, another Disney princess. And this is his dog, Axel. I think it's a puppy of one of my dogs. Here is his chest area, apparently. And then over here, what do we have? Okay. Okay, not bad, pretty cool. So yeah, just wanted to come up here so we could look over the lake. So this is what it looks like now. It looks kind of weird with shaders because the water is so see-through, but we have this like huge crater here, which we filled with all these corals. So we mined these over somewhere a million blocks away. We brought them back and I put some seaweed down and we have the kelp and then we have the conduit in the middle. So I did build a conduit and I used all these prismarine blocks and lanterns from the sea temple around it. It looks really pretty. I brought some turtles over and some tropical fish as you can see there is one of my dolphins over there so I love it it turned out so so good it took so long but I think it was totally worth it got a little island for the turtles to hang out at that's their baby breeding ground whatever <laughs> egg hatchery and yeah that's my that's my boyfriend's house there and that is my house over there I have Optifine installed by the way if you're wondering why I can zoom in Optifine just makes your FPS a lot better but it looks really cool let's jump down there because it looks so cool underwater oh yeah and I can glide because I've got my elytra on so yeah this is the pond that we made so we've got conduit power as you can see in the top right corner there's the conduit I had to hunt for the heart of the sea but I finally found it so that's cool here's a bunch of tropical fish I've got all my turtles if you guys have turtle names let me know and then we build all of these corals by hand we weren't really copying anything just building them randomly all around the area with sea lanterns and these sea pickles is that what they were called I forgot but I am so happy with it. It's so cool. Where's my dolphin? The dolphin gives you a crazy speed boost. There we go. While you're swimming, like, oh my god, you can go fast. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, <laughs> I'm so proud of this project. I'm so happy with how it turned out. You might have also seen we do have a fully powered beacon here. I haven't finished the diamond layer apparently, but we've got iron, gold, diamond, emeralds, and the beacon on top, and we are using regeneration and speed. So yeah, like I mentioned, my friends went kind of ham with building different things with redstone. They watched so many YouTube tutorials and copied the videos that made them in our world. I didn't do it myself, so I don't know which videos they were watching. I'm sorry, but I'm sure if you Google it, you'll be able to find them. So I think this is a pumpkin one. It's not a very big one. It's like a tiny micro pumpkin farm. Here is a wool farm, but it is currently not on. Oh, it is. Is it on? I don't know, it makes a bunch of colored wool and it automatically shears the wool. It doesn't look like it's working. I think he ran out of shears. I think that's what happened. Yeah, because none of the sheep are getting sheared, but it's a fully automated wool farm, which is pretty cool. I think, okay, all, not all of these are pretty as you can see, <laughs> but they're far enough from my house, so I don't care. This is a wee farm, but it's not automatic. I think it's just like, you have to sit there and spam something and it works here don't even this is animal cruelty <laughs> that's a little cow farmer 
Uh, then over here is a tree farm. This is pretty cute. I helped build these roofs. Uh, yeah, they all look really cute. Well, most of them do. So you can plant a tree here in the middle and then once you chop it down, because you do have to chop it down yourself, you can make this little uh, rail cart move around here and it will pick up all the like saplings and sticks and apples that fall from the tree so you don't have to wait for them to fall for yourself. So that is pretty cool. That's just, it's not like super fancy, but it's just a little tree farmer. Here is a kelp farm, which is completely full. I don't know how this works again. It's just, there's kelp somewhere and it gets pushed down. I don't freaking know how it works. This one is an AFK fish farm, which is why we have so much stuff. Oh, and here's one of my cats, Ariel, of course, by the fishes. So Ariel is over here. So we've got so many things from this. Like look at how many lily pads and name tags. I've taken most of the name tags out. Got a million saddles over here from AFK Fishing. Uh, my boyfriend did this for like three nights in a row. He got in an insane amount of items. So yeah, I don't really know how it works, but basically it's an AFK one. So you do have to be online. And then here is a sugarcane farm. Pretty cool, not huge again. I like the observers, their faces are so cute. So it just pushes everything down, it's automated and everything falls over here. Oh, and here is like a massive mob farm. That was a recent addition. I think it would work a lot better if I went all the way up there and stood on that glass platform. But it's, it's really cool. My boyfriend built this, I think it took him hours and it's huge and it's completely built in survival. <laughs> So yeah, and it's in the sky. This this is just how you get up there. It's not the prettiest, but it is what it is and everything like they the mobs fall down here and then they die and their drops come down here into this. We basically built this because we wanted to get or he built this. We wanted to get gunpowder so we could make more rockets. Oh my god. So that we could use the elytra better with the rockets. So that is really really cool. And then one of the coolest things is this XP farm, which he turned into a tree because we suggested it because it was really ugly. So it looks like kind of like a huge jungle tree now. I don't mind it. It's really, really loud up there, but basically it, it's like a constant cactus farm and then it smells the cactus. And once you take the cactus out of the furnaces, you get a crazy amount of XP. Now it's really loud up here. So I'm gonna talk a little bit louder and hopefully turn this sound down. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually insane. Okay, it's making me lag. And then you turn this on and you can take a thing out. And I'm gonna go from 64 to... Oh, I didn't get that much right now. Basically, we use scaffolding to get up and down. Once you leave it on for a couple of hours, you actually get an insane amount of experience, like easily from level zero to like level 50 when you go through all the different furnaces. What the hell, oh, that's the beacon. <laughs> so it's an insane XP farm. I haven't been on the server that long, so it hasn't been on that long, but it's been so, so useful. I'm level 64, which is crazy. So yeah, I think this is a cobblestone farm. I've never used it. I don't really know what it's used for but it exists. This is the ugliest building currently because it is not finished. It's just the current temporary home for some villagers. Uh, my boyfriend's planning on making a villager farm. Let me sleep. There is way too much stuff to show you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I just took a little nap and it's daytime. So yeah, that is gonna be a villager farm. It's really ugly, just ignore it for now. And then lastly, over here, we have an iron farm. This thing is so OP, it is so good. And here's one of my cats, by the way. This is Aurora. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of cats. Let's see if they can spawn an iron golem. Basically, it doesn't look very pretty, but there's villagers there and they can see the zombie, they freak out, they spawn an iron golem. The iron golem tries to go kill the zombie and it falls into this pit, dives to the lava and the iron of the iron golem will fall down and we can go pick it up in a second or take a look. Basically, you go down here with scaffolding again. Scaffolding is pretty cool. Oh my God, it's full. Okay, so yeah, this is a... <gasps> Whoa, this is our iron farm. <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of iron. Oh, and there's an iron golem dying. Can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. So yeah, this has been totally overpowered as well. It works really, really good. The iron golem just died and it drops a bunch of iron and they keep swallowing them like every 30 seconds or every minute or so. So it's, 
pretty darn good. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys our nether farms and then we have an enderman farm. But we've basically done everything. We've gone to the woodland mansion, we've gone to the sea temple, we killed the wither and we killed the ender dragon. Uh, was that everything? I feel like we've done everything. And then, oh, there's an iron golem that spawned. And then I found it in city. I got my elytra. One of my friends also has an elytra. Actually, I think my boyfriend has it right now. Yeah, you can see he's dying. It works really, really well. I'm realizing I forgot to show you my favorite cats. So here is Piper and Prim, my real life cats <laughs> in The Sims. These are the cats that look closest to my actual real life cats. So I've got them right there. Here's my uh, little chicken who's been stuck there for like the last 20 days. Oh my God, and if you go down here, I actually have another award farm that I completely forgot to mention. All right, I feel like I've showed you guys everything here in the overworld. I might have forgotten something but let's go check out the couple of things we've built in the nether <laughs> there is so much stuff we've done all right let's go into the nether let me put on my armor I'm not trying to die so let me show you guys our place farm we also have a pigment farm i have never been in the nether before with shaders oh my oh oh my god die thank you this is scary with shaders so uh, oh yeah, we can go to the end from here as well. I made like a nether portal connection because the end was like 5,000 blocks away, the stronghold. Here is our the nether fortress, actually super, super close to our portal. So it's over there. Really close, only like a couple hundred blocks away is our nether fortress. And my boyfriend built us a place farm. So there's the place spawner. You can see it. They're gonna start spawning soon. Uh, they're in this glass box, so then you're supposed to go down here. Yeah, so this is a little AFK area where you would just stand AFK, they would spawn up there, and then they would kind of like funnel themselves down here, and you can smack them right there and get a bunch of blaze rods. So let's see if it works. I don't think it's like 100% working. Sometimes they just like stand AFK there, but so you can see some of the placemen are coming over here. I have not really been here. I haven't really needed to be here, but I think they drop quite a lot of XP. As you can see, I am not in need of experience. So yep, there you kill them. Boom, place rods, nice. Don't ask me how any of these farms work because like I said, I didn't build them. I do not know anything about redstone. <laughs> I don't even think my friends understand how they work. They just copied uh, some tutorials and we've got a bunch of OP farms. I honestly think the XP farm is one of the most OP ones. And then the Enderman and Pikmin farms I'm about to show you guys are so overpowered. I feel like they're broken. So this was our fortress. And then let's go up here and take a look at the gold farm. So this is the pig <laughs> grinder. Basically, this is really broken. My boyfriend glitched on top of the bedrock on top of the nether, which should not be possible. And then he broke bedrock. Don't even ask me how. Somehow with pistons, I, I don't know how it worked, but hey, this is on top of the nether. If you've never seen it before, this is what it looks like. There's bedrock. And then you've got like a bunch of mushrooms growing. And then up there, <laughs> All the way up there. Hold on, let me put my elytra on in case I fall. All the way up here is his pigment farm, aka gold farm. This is the pigment farmer. You kind of crouch down here and uh, there's a million pigments. Um, let's get killing. Very nice noises. I'm gonna have to turn my sounds down once we head to the enderman one. But yeah, this is, as you can see, it's a never ending farm of uh, pigment and experience. I already gained a level and a half and I'm really high level so. So that is that. It's really cool. I put a little bounce pad down there. <laughs> Let's see if we can hit it actually because I have feather falling four. I don't think I die from this fall which is a hundred blocks but I'm gonna try to hit this slime and not the pigment. Oh my god okay so yeah. <laughs> He's not even mad at me, which is good. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys was the stronghold, and in the end, we made an Enderman farm, which is the most overpowered thing I have ever seen. It is crazy. I have turned my hostile mob sounds back to 1%, so we don't 
get completely deafened by the Enderman, but if we just run on over to the other nether portal that I've made, we can make our way to the end stronghold. Okay, let's go. All right, welcome to the stronghold. Let me put my wings on again. They're so much better in the end. Uh, let's go. Okay, this looks so bright with shaders on. And then if you go down here, we can make our way to our extremely overpowered um, Enderman farm. Are you madam? No. <laughs> so I'm wearing the elytra, so I'm just gonna uh, fly there. But basically you can run along this path of leaves. But hopefully I can make this work with just uh, gliding. So yeah, this is it. It's gonna be hopefully not too loud. Uh, there they start coming. Yeah, I turned the sound down to 1%. Oh my god, it's still loud. <laughs> Do you see what I mean by overpowered? Hello, how are you doing? Uh, clearly our chest is full. You can see about 800,000 ender pearls right there. I did make a sword that was better for killing them, which is over here. The enderman slayer that doesn't have knockback or fire aspect. So basically you go in here. I also put an ender just here and then you just start smacking away. They make nice sounds. All right, I have turned the hostile creatures sound off for the purpose of recording a video. And yeah, you just smack them. This gives you insane amounts of experience and also insane amounts of ender pearls. Not that you need them. This is basically just really, really good for experience. So yeah, that is that. As you can see, we have a bunch of ender pearls. I keep the sword in there. The enderman, the slayer. Ah uh, yeah, let's fly back to uh, the main island so we can make our way back home through the end portal. So there we go, that is the tour of my Minecraft world. I know this video is really long, but we've just done so much and I wanted you guys to be able to see all of it if you were interested. I've had a lot of fun here and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. I usually post Sims, but if you guys wanna see more Minecraft, let me know in uh, the comments because I do love Minecraft. That is it for me today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. This